Uh, before we start on chapter three, let's go over quick on chapter one. Okay, the uh, real property, if you own a piece of land, you can build your house, you plant your tree, there's a river, there's a pond, then there's a, a cloud come over to your house, directly that belong, the cloud belongs to your property. Okay. Everything on top of the piece of land, no matter it's a natural growth or uh, artificial uh, man-made attached to the ground, that's a real property. Okay. So we have a air right, we have surface right, we have subsurface right. And another good point is you can sow your mine, you can sow the knife stone, it doesn't affect you still own the real property. Okay, then the ownership uh, on chapter three, we'll talk a, a lot more on the ownership stuff. Okay, you don't need to write down right now, uh, we'll talk about in detail in this chapter. <laughs> Okay, then chapter two, we've been mentioning about most important stuff is the uh, agent. What is agent? Agent equal to broker. Okay. And it was expressed as on behalf of your principal. After you sign the contract, your customer will become the principal in the contract. Then the broker is the agent. Uh, after that, we have sub agent. Okay, by MLS, the co op broker from all of the listing agent or the sub the the salesperson uh, to this particular customer. They are sub agents. Okay, what does that mean? That means any of those person who cannot sign the contract, do the contraction, nor to get the commission directly from this particular customer. Okay. In other words, only the agent, this particular broker, can do the transaction directly with this particular customer. Okay. So they have listing, transaction, commission money, law shoes, okay, <clears throat> by this bro broker. And their brokerage, they can have as much as possible of the branches, sales, co-op brokers, and affiliates. Okay, chapter three. We want to talk about the ownership. Okay, before we started, we need to understand what is D, D E E D versus title. A D actually was a piece of paper. Okay, a, any piece of paper can become a D, and there's a no standard format. You can write it down by yourself. You can write down something like, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, I am Mr. Michael Wayne. Okay, I have this property at uh, the legal description and I want to convey to whoever with a uh, like a, a certain consideration, it can be like a ten dollar. It's legal. Okay, let's see here. So, the seller is called grantor. Okay, the ten dollar is consideration. The buyer, uh, the legal description. It's in Mojave County. This is particular from Arizona. We call warranty D. 
Although in California we call Grand D. However, everything was the same, okay? Everything, I mean, the, the D can be any piece of paper, although we California we're using the Grand D, but the requirement of a D, okay, is pretty much the same thing. You need to have a grantor, grantee, the consideration which is the money and a signature, then you go find a notary notary to notary public, then get the document notarized, then you go to the county to get it recorded. Okay. Okay, that's the D. Okay, D is the tool. Remember, D is the tool to transfer your property to the others. That's called a D. Okay, now we need want to talk a little bit more about title. Okay, title on the other hand, a D at least you can see that's one piece of paper. And title normally I would say uh, it's more like uh, something invisible. Okay. A title <clears throat> is more than just the piece of paper. It's more than just a piece of property. You uh, Sometimes they call uh, intangible. Okay. You, you can touch it, you can feel it. A title is more than that. So what makes title uniqueness? I always uh, make a <clears throat> comparison between a, a house and a home. Okay. You can tell anybody I own a, you know, one million dollars house. Okay. But Somebody can tell you that although I own a half million house, but I have beautiful wife, okay? That's a home. I have three kids and beautiful wife. That's a home. A home was quite different than a house, okay? A home involved happiness, involved liability, okay? And okay, title involved all of this stuff we call bundle of legal rights, which is possession, control, enjoyment, exclusion, disposition. Okay, uh, you don't need to write it down. We will talk about on the next page uh, in detail in this chapter. Okay. In short, possession, you can live, you can use the property, you can control it. Enjoyment, okay, uh, is a little bit more dip difficult. We'll uh, just give you one example. If, uh, if you, a uh, landlord, okay, rent out a property, he or she is giving up the right of enjoyment, okay, the state exam question every time. What exactly that means, the landlord should not you know, disturb your tenant without a good reason, without a notice. You can't just stop by and check out your property. No, because you give out the perception and the enjoyment to the tenant, so you cannot disturb your tenant without a good reason, without a prior notice. Okay, exclusion and disposition. Disposition was pretty much uh, everything you, you can buy, you can sell, you can will, okay, you can get mortgage, you can rent it out, etc. That's everything about the disposition. Okay.
That's the D versus the title.